Over 90% of amputations in the U.S. are finger amputations. Amniotic band syndrome affects 1 in 1,200 live births. 80% of those have loss or malformation of fingers and hands. Imagine a low-cost prosthesis that could give back basic functionality. Based on the latest technologies, it is now possible to build brain-activated and voice-controlled bionic prosthesis. Galileo University collaborates with the international community in the creation of Bionic RoboHand. How was this project born? On January 2013, carpenter Richard Van Ass, after a tragic accident where he lost some fingers, developed RoboHand, an open source mechanical prosthesis which is being successfully used by kids who have recovered basic hand functionality. Initially, the prototypes were designed by Ivan Owen and produced in wood by Richard, which was taking weeks and months per cycle. By incorporating the use of 3D printing, they reduced the prototyping time to minutes. How are we contributing? We added some nitinol muscle wire to RoboHand in order to achieve independent control of the fingers. To control the prosthesis, we incorporate a Raspberry Pi microcomputer, a device powerful enough to host an artificial intelligence while having a low power consumption, ideal candidate to be embedded in the prosthesis. The brain interface is done wirelessly with the emotive EEG, which is a device that reads the electromagnetic waves generated by thought and provides us with personal and conscious control of the prosthesis. Open. Close. Point. Proof of concept. First, I will raise the lever. I will activate it with my thoughts, voice control it, and finally mentally confirm the action. Lever. I will now activate the sound. When I open my hand, a sound will be heard. I will now light up this LED. Light. I can now say the commands light, sound, or lever, but they do not activate since I am not neurally confirming them. I will now, by thought and consciously, activate the sound command. When I open my hand, sound. I will now raise the lever. Lever. And that way, I can consciously control which commands get activated. The idea is to use muscle wire as tendons and mentally activate and voice control them. This is only a proof of concept. To show we can control it, we think we will be able to create predefined hand gestures as pointing, grabbing, etc. And that is the purpose of this project. And this is just the beginning.